Hi everyone, it's Nav IQ here. And since it's World Health Day, I wanted to take this opportunity just to be able to discuss my opinions about this uh, in, in twofold. So first of all, your health, um, and of course, being a school principal and a school head, um, this applies to everybody to be quite honest, but I mean, my mindset, I'm, I'm specifically speaking, my experiences is that, and what I've seen, is that you know burnout happens in any profession uh, and school is definitely one of those um, and I've seen so many teachers so many and in different parts of the world be it uh, where I am now in the UAE when I was in the UK and other parts of the Minasa region and I'm sure it happens in other parts of the world too that there are so many things that they have to do and that do burn out and two three four years five years into their teaching careers a lot of them will leave the profession and go into something else because it's so difficult for them. Um, leaders as well, I see so many principals, um, highly capable principals who will burn out, uh, who will actually suffer from mental health issues, uh, but never ever discuss it. They never discuss it because they feel as though it's uh, it will somehow hinder their reputation and leadership and I, I honestly believe that's not the case the, the there's a difference between being a human being and being human and we are human though what we have to do sometimes uh, is try to be superhuman the reality is we are human uh, and we suffer the same anxiety as anyone else the same nervousness as anyone else and that's absolutely fine but please if you do go through a life where you know and it can happen suddenly you have a shortness of breath thinking about work or you're driving to work and you know you feel nervous or anxious your heart throbbing um, you know um, and it's too much don't ignore it because that is your body telling you that something's wrong that is your body saying to you that you need to speak to someone about it and don't brush it under the carpet and get on with your school day because you've got to manage a school of hundreds or in some cases thousands of students or hundreds of staff members please please don't ignore it um, speak to people about it uh, and really look after your mental health and well-being because that's the only way you'll have longevity and to be quite honest that's the only way you will be able to make the right decisions for those uh, we support in our communities and it's really important the other side point number two the second fold is students so many students i see in schools who suffer from anxiety and no one ever supports them in how to cope with anxiety. We always push it onto the guidance counselor or the pastoral department. This is everyone's responsibility. As a teenager, uh, exam pressure was so much for me and I had friends of mine who were losing hair during their GCSE and A-level exams, but no one ever supported us with that. We were just told how to take exams. It's really important that we look after our youth support them and for them to be able to build this resilience and you'd always see words such as grit and resilience and these strategies and some of the better schools are doing this but we all need to perhaps have those connections with our children with our students at home in school and, and explain to them that these things will happen and give them strategies to cope adults don't get enough strategies to cope never mind students so please on this particular day let's raise awareness about this and look after your mental health these are my opinions. You will have your own. Please leave some comments below. Like, share, and I look forward to discussing other topics. Thank you.